Happy Monday, you mentees. This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Me Condition. And join me today as I do an overview of the amazing fantasy omnibus new printing from Marvel Comics. So, please stay tuned. And welcome back, all you mentees. Now, the very first thing I want to say is thank you to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us a copy of this particular omnibus. This is a new printing of Amazing Fantasy. Uh, and this originally came out in 2007, and it's, you know, it's been out of print for a few years now. And the contents of this, as you can probably tell, it's pretty thin. It's probably one of the thinnest, I want to say, I don't think it's as thin as Devil Dinosaur. I was right. It is definitely not as thin as Devil Dinosaur Omnibus. But it is one of the slimmest. Now, the retail price of this is $75. We'll talk about the contents here in a second. Let's look at Under the Dust Jacket. So you have Amazing Fantasy Omnibus, and then here's the spine with the same picture that's on the spine of the dust jacket. So let's take a closer look at the content. Now, one more thing before we take a look inside is if you own the two Jack Kirby Monster Omnibu or the two Marvel Masters of Suspense, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko Omnibu, then you're going to have all the stories in this particular omnibus already, with the exception of, of course, Amazing Fantasy 15. So let's go ahead and get this opened. And we have the people behind the book here. Corey Sedemeyer, Nickel Design Works, Sven Larson, David Gabriel, the Editor-in-Chief, C.B. Sobolski. And then, of course, the credit to the creators here, which is mainly Stan Lee, uh, Larry Lieber, which is his brother. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. Steve Ditko, the artist, the main artist on the book with Jack Kirby, of course. But they also had help from Don Heck and Paul Raymond. The inkers and the letters. Now, here's the table of contents to let you know what story appears on what page. There is an introduction. Actually, there's two intros. This one here is done by Stephen Bissett, who did uh, Swamp Thing, of course. Uh, and it's a quick introduction from the original Marvel Masterworks of the... I think it was the Monsters Masterworks. So, it kicks off with an ama amazing adventure. So, that's something I need to talk about, too. What are the contents of the book? Well, the contents are Amazing Adventure 1 through 6... Amazing Adult Fantasy 7 through 14, and Amazing Fantasy number 15. Now, what happened was that they decided to change the tone of the book um, in Amazing Adventures number 6. So they renamed the title to Amazing Adult Fantasy. And I think the tagline was a book that doesn't question your intelligence. Something along those lines. Something along the lines of, like, you are smart and you need to buy this magazine pretty brilliant gimmick so after that as of issue 14 they changed the title one more time to amazing fantasy number 15 now to anybody that has collected comic books or has been around the channel for a while you all probably know what that book is and if in case you don't i'll make sure to highlight it here in a second now if I'm, as i'm flipping through here if you've seen my overviews of the marvel's masters of suspense stanley and steve ditko you are probably seeing a lot of very similar stories. Like I said, those two books collect everything in here with the exception of Amazing Fantasy 15. Uh, now there are some works by Don Heck and Paul Rainman and of course Jack Kirby. Look, I've always liked this story. I never got to read these until I was in my 30s. Um, there was a few collections. Like, when I was younger, they didn't really do a lot of collections of these in, in single issues. A lot of reprints. It's one of my favorites here. But um, there were a series of collections that I found at a comic book store, like in my 30s, and I decided to get them. There weren't Marvel Masterworks, because those were way too expensive for me. But I did manage to read them, and man... I don't know. I, I think when I think of amazing fantasy and amazing adventures, I always think of, of course, Spider-Man. So I had no idea that the stories before Spider-Man were these sci-fi or more monster stories. But it wasn't until, yeah, in, in my 30s that I found out that, oh, these are more like the Twilight Zone. And actually, that's what Stan Lee wanted. So Stan Lee, halfway through this, and let's get to the issue. Yeah, this one right here. So between Amazing Adventures number six and Amazing Adult Fantasy number seven, like I said, it's the same title. It's just they went with a different name. He fell in love with Steve Ditko's artwork. So as of issue seven, 
of Amazing Adult Fantasy. It's literally Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. Uh, Larry Lieber, by the way, plotted and scripted a lot of the stories with with Jack Kirby because at the time, you know, Stan Lee was trying to make this business work. He had about six to eight titles a month, and he and he was writing every one of them. Now, the way that him and Steve Ditko worked was a little bit different. Um, and then that just kind of became the Marvel way of storytelling, which the way that he did it was he plotted out the story. He gave it to uh, Steve Ditko. Steve Ditko then penciled it, and uh, he did everything with the exception of inking it because he wanted Stan Lee to approve it. He, he took it back to Stan Lee, and, and he actually left room for dialogue, and he even wrote dialogue layout just to kind of map it out for Stan Lee. So he went over to Stan Lee, and Stan Lee approved it. They made some changes, and after the lettering, that's when he finally put the inks on there. And that was their way of storytelling, and it worked for so many years. And then, of course, Stan Lee did the same thing with Jack Kirby. Um, yeah, these, these I'm sure you've already seen um, when I did the Marvel Masters of Suspense. So let's flip a little more through here as we get to Amazing Fantasy number 15. They're already advertising their other comics that are coming out as we get closer to Amazing Fantasy number 15. So this is still Amazing Adult Fantasy number 14. And actually, this is the one with the first appearance of the mutants, maybe? Or, yeah, man, man who could fly in space. Oh, that's not it. That was another really cool thing. And here's Amazing Adult Fantasy number 14. Another cool thing I didn't note is that for the first time ever... You had Stanley and Steve Ditko, two creators, not sure why I did four, two creators signing the covers. You never saw that in comic books. This is the first time that you've seen that. As a matter of fact, if you all saw some of my Golden Age overviews, they didn't even credit so many of these artists or colorists or inkers. So if you look back here to Amazing Adventures, there's no signatures on the covers. But by the time it becomes Amazing Fan or Amazing Adult Fantasy, Stan Lee and Steve Ditko were signing the covers. Another thing they added was a table of contents. So you could see what stories are included in here. And then we've seen that before. We've seen that in like EC horror magazines or just EC comics in general. So, hey, hey, this is the story of Tad Carter. Yes, the first mutant, the man in the sky. I think I've talked about that when I did the Masters of Suspense Volume 2 overview. And all of this leads into a... Yeah, new era of comics. Now, what happened in between these was Fantastic Four number one had come out and the sales were just stellar. So they were thinking about just canceling the line because they didn't think the sales of Amazing Adult Fantasy were great. They introduced Spider-Man and he had an idea for a second Spider-Man story with Steve Ditko. But like I said, the sales were just not that good of Amazing Adult Fantasy number 14. So they canceled the title. But when they saw the sales of Amazing Fantasy number 15, they were so good that Stanley was like, huh, okay, I think it's time we do something else. I think it's time we focus on heroes. So this is the first time that Spider-Man appears in the pages of Amazing Fantasy number 15. It's not the only story in here, of course. There's other stories here. But it is the main story why people go and buy it. I don't think anybody's buying it because of the man in the mummy case. Now, the stories, these little five-pagers, they continued on in, like, Tales to Astonish and Journey into Mystery until eventually the superheroes came in and took over those books, too. Uh, Amazing Adventures actually came back. Um, those featured those stories with Black Widow when I did an overview of that. See, all of this is tying up. All these overviews tie up eventually. And then Amazing Fantasy also came back like in the 80, in the 70s and 80s. There was one thing I didn't note was the creation of this character right here, Dr. Droom. So <laughs> they had to change the name. But Dr. Droom, um, he had an ongoing storyline through these Amazing Adventure stories in comics. But eventually he was kind of the template for Dr. Doom or Dr. Strange. And they kind of changed his name later on when they brought him back and made him Dr. Druid. But that's how he started as Dr. Durham. Now, let's look here really quick at the extras in the back. So here we have Amazing Adventures number five. This is the Escape from Monstroso, page one. These are original pages right here by Jack Kirby and Dick Ayers. Here is, oh, this is from Marvel, the Monster Masterworks. This is an introduction by Jack Kirby. This is the Mar Monster Masterworks trade paperback. This is artwork by Walter Simonson. 
Stan Lee and Jack Kirby before, of course, he passed away because this was written in 1993. Introductions and then covers to the reprints. Ah, oh, there he is. Dr. Druid, who, like I said, originally was Dr. Droom. This is the unused cover to Amazing Fantasy number 15 by Steve Ditko because Jack Kirby did that cover. And, man, original pages from Amazing Fantasy. I can't imagine owning any of those. Like, this one where he creates the costume, I, I don't even know where these are. The courtesy of the Library of Congress. Well, okay, that's where they are. So, I'm not going to flip through all of them, but here's all the extras. Here are some reprints and pinups from Steve Ditko. I think these are the books that I had reprinting some of those classic monster stories. And, and yes, this is the direct market cover. So the one that I have is the standard edition cover, but there is another cover. 448 pages as far as the binding. Sewn binding and not much of an eye, but you really don't need it for a book this thin. The slim book that just stays laying flat. Now you can purchase this omnibus from CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now this is only for US customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the contents of the book, the page count and the build of the book. Let me know in those comments down below if you already own this, if this is your first time getting it. Uh, if you already have the Ma Marvel Masters of Suspense and the Monsters Omnibus from Jack Kirby, I'd love to know all those comments down below. Please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We can be found on Redbubble and on Patreon. Great ways to support the channel if you can do so. And thank you to our existing patrons. And more importantly, please everybody stay healthy, stay safe, and much love to all of you.